mindfulness of the television and news. News includes television, it includes radio, it includes newspaper. So in the variety of applications that we have at home, many people have access to television, free channels, commercial channels and so forth, have uh, access to wideband radio stations and possibly buy a newspaper. It's important to bring plenty of mindfulness to these three areas. I've read that on average in the United Kingdom around 24 hours a week are spent watching television. Then there is all the time spent on the mobile phone, on the computer screen, on the tablet screen. So a significant chunk of one's life is spent looking at a screen. The screen is an alternative not really an alternative, not even a parallel. It's a kind of pseudo-reality, a kind of substitute for reality. The reality is in the real world. It's not in the screen. The screen is a world of images, and a newspaper, a world of words. And we need to, being at home, while remembering that there is an on switch to all of these things, these gadgets, big and small, there is also, with all of them, there is an off switch. Use it, use it, use it. So that you're not absorbed because all of that absorption of excess of use. It has an impact on the brain. Please do not forget this. It's tiring on the brain cells. It's reducing your immune system for quiet inner strength and trust. And it easily feeds in, particularly if you're a bit of a news junkie. And that means daily, watching of the news, looking at the news, easily feeding into more fears and anxiety. So the outcome of living in the, in an exaggerate, giving exaggerated attention to the television, tablet, mobile phone, screens, screens and screens, is it makes you less fit as a human being to deal with everyday life because one's not connected with it enough. One is living in this substitute. There is a genuine place. I write. I use the social media. I have clips on YouTube. It's not that I'm denying or avoiding or rejecting it, but it's to remember Yes, there is the place for that application and that learning, but it's no substitute. Facebook is no substitute for community. Community is contact, it's to commune with another. It's a communication with another. Facebook might market itself as it does, as some kind of big community, it's not. It's an advertising agency. It's a surveillance agency gathering information about us which we have put into 
uh, Facebook uh, page to target us to buy our attention. We've got more important things than to keep looking in Facebook. More, far more important things to do. To live. To connect with the real world. To take precious care and interest in the small things. To look after our plants at home. To write. To, to draw. To read. To reflect. To be mindful. To look at our relationship to, to food. To give love and empathy to those who are around us. To express appreciation there. To attend to our traumas and difficulties. Listen to the wise counsel of others. We've got a lot to do in the real world, because that's in the real world where we grow as a human being. And we just use, when appropriate, the social media. We're not making it an escape, a flight, into watching television programmes all the time, into spending 24 hours a week or more on the screen. We say, yes, that has a place. It is a tool, but I'm not a slave. I can turn the switch off. I can close it down. What I would suggest, you're at home all day, it's easy to end up glued to the screen, but eventually you'll be bored, and when and under the boredom will be resentment, and there will be anger, and it will start to come out of you, either heaping it on yourself, self-hate, lack of self-worth, putting yourself down, or on those who are close to you. So we need to keep in touch, and not get out of touch, and. In that, your day in the real world to find and explore that which is really nourishing for you. To recognise and stop when you feel love, empathy, connection, presence, enjoyment of the silence. You might, if you wish, take a day in which one of these appliances is not touched. The television is not switched on. The radio is not switched on. The tablet, the computer, the mobile phone, or whatever. And if one of them is really important, then just that one for the day and no other. And reducing that. And you keep a check. It's going to take some honesty. How many hours today? What time did I put the television on? What time did I put it on? And sometimes there's a quiet confidence. Hey, I am the master of the day. I am the king and the queen of this space at home. And I'm reducing all that electromagnetic input going into my brain, into my body, hour in and hour out, I'm reducing all of that and I'm letting something else nourish and come into me. And one will feel better about oneself for doing that, for saying no to that, less of that, more of this life, more of this immediacy. If you're anxious about the news, just use, watch the news very briefly. For myself, I look Channel seven, sorry, channel um, four comes on at seven o'clock in the evening. Most of it, of course, at the beginning is all around the coronavirus, COVID-19 and all associated. I just watch that for a few minutes, just like a little check-in, but not every single uh, day. And keeping clear, not being afraid to know what the news is, but not indulging in it and being obsessed with it because that's going to have and generate anxiety, worry, doubt, maybe despair. Simply 
we, we're breathing in so much, in this case news and information, we forget to breathe out. We breathe in a little and we breathe out. We breathe in a little and we breathe out because we have the power to switch on and we are going to be the authority with our life with the power to switch off. If we get that balance uh, right, less pressure on the brain, greater receptivity and more sense of well to be really grounded in the real world and to understand deep things of life actually we don't have to go outdoors that much we can find it here and now as things are with wisdom and clarity Get the balance right, get a proper, proper perspective, use your authority to say no to that, less of that, yes to this. This is an opportunity, don't blow it, stay steady. Thank you.